Here's a quick tutorial on how to texture tank tracks in Blender. And this video was requested by one of my dear viewers. Normally when we create tank tracks, we just create one single track and then we use an array modifier to repeat that track many times. And then we use a curve modifier to wrap it around the wheels. So we really just need to texture one track. And then once we apply a array modifier to that, all the other tracks are gonna have the same texture. So let's separate one track and UV unwrap it. And then in the shading tab, we're gonna create a quick edge mask. Add a bevel node, add a geometry node, then connect those two through a vector math node set the dot product and then run that through an invert node before plugging it into the material output node. Now switch to cycles render and in rendered view you're going to see a nice edge mask on the surface of the object. We can adjust the radius and the sample rate and we also need an image texture node. In the image texture node create a new image and set the resolution to something like 512 because we don't need it to be much bigger than that. Set the generated type to blank and check 32-bit float. Now in the Render Properties tab, find the Bake menu, set the Bake type to Emit and Bake the image. And we can now see our Edge Mask in the Image Editor. Now delete all the nodes except the Material Output and the Image Texture, and then plug the Image Texture into the Material Output. And now we can see our Edge Mask on the surface of the object as an Image Texture. Now add a Principal node, and add a Mix RGB node, and then use the Image Texture to control the factor of the Mix RGB node. And we can now set the colors in the Mix RGB to anything we like. So the first color, which is the main color, is going to be a Rust Texture. And to create a Rust Texture, first we're going to add a Noise Texture node. We're going to plug that into the color 1, and we're going to add a Node Wrangler to this node just so it's displayed on the object correctly. Now add a Color Ramp node between the Noise Texture and the Mix RGB node, and we can use that to control the intensity of the colors. Now we're going to increase the scale on the Noise Texture, and we're going to play around with a few more of the settings in this node. Now we're going to replace the white color in the Color Ramp with an orange or brown, and we're going to replace the black with a slightly darker brown. Now we need to add a few more markers, which are all going to have slightly different variations of a similar color. And moving the markers closer to each other is going to control the sharpness of the colors. So just keep adding more colors and more markers until you get a rusty texture texture. Now we're going to duplicate the color ramp, the noise texture and the node wrangler. And we're going to run that through a hue saturation node in which we're going to turn the saturation to zero. And we're doing this so that we can use this texture as a height map. We're going to run that through a bump node and plug it into the normal. And that's going to give us a bumpy surface. Now we're going to adjust some settings in the second noise texture node. And then we're going to slightly reduce the strength of the bump node. And as you can see now, the object looks completely rusty. Next, we're going to create some edge wear. So we're going to create a math node between the first image texture node and the first mix RGB node. We're going to set that to power, and then we can use the exponent slider to control the intensity of the edges. Now we can get some more control over that using a noise texture node. And we're going to add another color ramp node between the math node and the mix RGB node. Now first, we're going to shape the edge wear with the color ramp. And I only set the color to white here so I can see what the edge wear looks like. And then we're going to set that to a darker color just to make it look more realistic. And that's all we have to do to texture the track. Now we can just use a curve modifier to place this around a curve. And we're also going to add an array modifier to the track. And now every single track has the same rusty texture. 